Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have books one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy, sensuous, provocative love story about human evolution. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck based off of the personalities of my Jungle Beauty Goddess characters. And in this, using this Oracle deck, I am going to give you some insight into why you chose your friends in this lifetime and what are the lessons that your friends decide to teach you we're going to take a look at these powers darling and see what they say thank you so much for watching hello darlings to better align your mind body and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear Please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. darling if you selected the pink and black divine feminine butterfly this reading is for you in terms of why you chose your friends in this lifetime first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand the first card I have for you darling is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is do what you love and become who you are meant to be the next card i have for you is from the matter who represents dark energy and matter um, 
don't be afraid to make mistakes. That is his message to you. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you is ma the magic is always in the moment. And the last card I have for you is from, again from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you is spontaneity is the cure for everything. My collective intuition from your hand is that if you ha if you have very few friends, if any friends, and you do you have a tendency not to trust because you were deeply hurt either a long time ago or recently in a previous lifetime, but you just don't trust like that. And the thing about life is that we need other people to help us build our dreams. So if you're an author, you want you need a publisher, you need you know, you need we can't create we can't even create a child by ourselves, right? So we need other people in our life to help us build our dreams. Jungle Beauty Goddess Sign that represents our second chakra, which is our ability to be productive and um, to, to be creative and our relationships with other people and what I'm picking up from your hand is that your energy in your second chakra is stuck like in terms of building meaningful relationships with other people because you've been hurt um, betrayed actually one of the visions that I got for this particular hand, particular hand is that I don't you know I don't know if it was you know um, this lifetime or another lifetime but it just seems like there was some, a betrayal that really ripped you to the core and you keep people kind of at a distance and um, you have a hard time making friends because you're afraid that you're going to make a friend who's going to stab you in the back again and it's going to hurt again. Also another thing I was picking up from this hand is that because you have built this life by yourself and you tend to be more of a loner you are afraid of people seeing the real you the true you because you're afraid that people are going to think you're eccentric or weird so you kind of keep people at a distance so the universe the spirit guys um i feel like the urge in this hand is urging you to trust people again to the next time somebody asks you to go out to lunch, well, depending on how safe it is, child. Um, but to reach out, to allow people into your life, and to know that this time you're going to use clarity and wisdom, and that you're not going to make the same mistake. You're not going to, um, you know, what came to me was that you're going to make mistakes, but it may not be that mistake that's just a part of the human experience so but so don't be afraid to live don't be afraid to build alliances don't be afraid to allow people in your life because we need the cooperation of other people to build our dreams to help us evolve and grow as human beings um yeah and so that's the big picture message that i have for you and now i'm going to give you the message from your star alien being, which I thought was really interesting. So this is the Jasper Plummet, Plummite, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. And I'm going to give you your message. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for your message? You don't let go of the past. If people could let go of the past, they would. You process the past. You organize the past. You analyze the past. You understand the past. You look at the past and you look at how the past has shaped and molded you into the person you are today. You learn your lessons from the past. But, it's, but you don't let go of the past. Your most painful relationships are your greatest healers and your greatest teachers. When people betray us, we lose confidence in our ability to make healthy choices. 
we began to wonder if somehow we deserve to be betrayed because if we didn't deserve it, it means that we must question our concept of God, love, justice, equality, and fairness. It's pretty deep. You start looking for the signs of betrayal and dishonesty in every person we meet. The lesson that that, per- that that friend came to bring you is the lesson of listening to your intuition and trusting your instincts. What signs did you ignore when you were being betrayed by your friend? What signs have, uh, have you ignored when you had an urge inside of you that you should have made a different decision? Do you trust what people tell you at face value? Your friendship with your concept of God and Goddess and your higher self should be the foundation of all of your friendships. Listen to your instincts. Listen to the small, quiet voice inside of you. If you go back and dissect your friendships and relationships, you will see the red flags when you should have listened to yourself. You are not required to trust people. You are required to trust yourself to trust your concept of God, to trust your higher self. Once you became your own, once you become your own friend and learn to trust yourself, you will be able to trust others. Once you are able to trust yourself, you will be able to trust others. But you can only trust yourself by listening to yourself. Once you are able to trust your own wisdom and forgive your own past mistakes, you will be able to have more meaningful relationships and friendships with others. That was beautiful. That is the message I have for you. Um, to please yeah, like, you know, open up and trust people that they can, they'll love you for who you are. Um, to listen to your to your intuition, let it guide you in your relationships. I thought this is a really good uh, reading. I, I like it when I get information that I would have never imagined. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the Brown Divine Feminine Butterfly, this reading is for you in terms of why you chose your friends in this lifetime. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand in terms of why you chose your friends in this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is, listen to your heart, darling. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is, let's get them focus here. Be brave, don't look back. The next card I have for you it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, and her message to you is, let's get in focus here, how do you feel about it, your feelings matter, and the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and Namib, and their message to you is, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. So, this hand has such an interesting message to me. I've, I don't think I've ever experienced a message like this. Maybe I have. But. So, my collective intuition about your hand is that you are a helper being from a higher realm. And you're like a natural angel. Like you're like an earth angel. And you know that you are... 
eternally wealthy. You have everything you need and you are a giver. You are a giver by nature. And because you are a giver and you like to give and you really don't, you really don't need anything in terms of like what you give away. It's not like you need someone to, you know, show it the same to you. But what you're supposed to do on your mission to earth was help uh, a lot of people. Like you were, so, but when you basically, um, you give so much that it is unhealthy to the people that you give to because you you erode their self-esteem and their self-worth and their ability to take accountability for their own actions. So, for example, you loan them money, you really don't need the money back, but they don't learn how to budget. You give them advice and about this relationship and you keep giving and giving and giving but nothing changes but you're always there you're like that ear you're that person they can call anytime so the message that I'm getting from your hand is that this is you're supposed to um, you have the card that says plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul what came to me is that you're supposed to not deplete your resources while you're here on the planet but you're supposed to duplicate your resources you are supposed to um, create other people like yourself so you're supposed to plant seeds of creating other healers other helpers who can and, and also making people accountable for themselves so even the people that you're helping are supposed to be people who are able to say okay now I can go and help somebody else but you don't realize or you've you've forgotten that part of the reason that you were here is was to help masses not like a handful so if you're here to help masses you write a book and you can help more people but if you're here and you're just that person who is you know giving advice giving money giving time and what happens is it depletes your resources and your time on the planet and you kind of lose sight of your mission so there's a part of you that knows that what you're doing is not helping people to reach their full potential but it is giving you like an ego boost like sometimes when you you know help somebody and they are maybe they gambled their money away and you loaned them a thousand dollars and you feel good about it but you really weren't supposed to help at that level so what happens is you realize that your time on the planet is becoming limited and you haven't completed your mission that book you were supposed to write that program you were supposed to start that degree you were supposed to get that you know like you are you aren't giving and helping as many people as you can because you can't control you you can't control your giving nature from and therefore you're allowing yourself to be depleted by a handful of people who aren't growing as opposed to helping the masses of people that you came to the planet to help i know right is this i mean like yeah i know that is my collective intuition for your hand is that you you are supposed to be helping more people and you are supposed to um, learn to say no, to set boundaries so that you will have the time that you need to complete major projects to help map, you know, more people. So now I'm going to give you, I know, right? <laughs> so the friends in your life that you have is, is not, oh, that was a thing also, is that you need to select friends who are from a higher room such as yourself other people who are givers people who are helpers people who don't need anything from you but can collaborate with you and create something even larger to help more people so if you are in friendships with people who need just know that innately it's a part of your nature to give and to help but if that is the the nature of your friendships 
that you're in an unhealthy um, type situation and that you should seek out friendships with other beings who are helpers and givers with bigger life purpose and missions such as yourself so that this so that you can help the masses if that makes sense um, and now I'm going to give you your message from your star alien being let me just get this in focus here ah so this is the star alien being for your hand and I'm going to give you your message darling resist the need to please others it gives you a false sense of self self purpose it feeds your ego but it does not feed your soul open yourself to a variety of friends from higher realms try to befriend other beings who are helpers and givers to humanity like yourself this will this will keep you on track and honest with your feelings because you need nothing in return this makes you emotionally and psychologically dangerous to your earth friends I think you need nothing and they need everything you feel disrespected and you see uh, and they see you as their savior when they should be um, depending on themselves when you stop doing favors for them and giving to them they feel weak helpless and unworthy further damaging their self-esteem and diminishing their self-worth having empathy and compassion for a being means doing what is in their big picture long-term best interest it's not about what is going to make you happy by helping them immediately move away from unbalanced friendships so that you can spread your gifts and talents to a larger audience yeah this is just a really really interesting hand I really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video If you selected the denim blue divine feminine butterfly this reading is for you on why you chose your friends in this lifetime first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand the first card I have for you is from jungle beauty goddess Chobi and jungle beauty goddess Chobi's message to you is Sometimes you are your own worst enemy. Sorry to get interesting, right? The next card I have for you and why you chose your friends in this lifetime is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. I feel like I, I don't even really need to talk about this to you. Yeah, but we'll we'll just keep going. <laughs> the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is Your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit. Your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit. And the last card I have for you in terms of why you chose your friends in this lifetime. We have one from Jungle Beauty Goddess um, Kalahari. This is our last card in this hand. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you in terms of why you chose your friends in this lifetime. Sometimes love means letting go. My collective intuition about this hand is that you're the kind of person that um, you give a lot you give if there's going to be a bill you're going to be the one that's going to fight to get that bill and 99% of the time darling I promise you you're going to get the bill and you're going to give 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 you're, you're probably the giver and you probably 
have a difficult time accepting other people giving to you, but you, you don't realize that you're this way. But to some degree, you probably start to feel resentful and you feel guilty if you're not the one who's always giving. Like you, you feel guilty telling somebody no. So what you have done is exhausted yourself and you, but the truth is you're giving, 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 but then you feel resentful, which turns to this card that says you're your own, sometimes you are your own worst enemy. And because you aren't true to yourself, you can't attract people in your life who are true to you. So you don't say no when you really want to say no. And you don't tell people, look, you need to buy your own food you need to buy your own ticket i'm not paying your way i'm tired of you know being the one that's putting the the bill in in, in the friendship but the reason you're doing that mm -hmm, i'm gonna tell you why we have this card from jungle beauty goddess katara and jungle beauty goddess katara it says your wealth is weaving to the fabric of your earth suit this card means that you don't have to prove your worth to anyone or you don't have to the reason you're always giving is because you you're buying friendship you don't feel that you are enough that you are worthy that you don't need to if i don't it's like at some level you feel like if i buy your food if i pay your way then you will be my friend darling you will be my friend you will like me um you could because i am not a, i am not enough in and of myself now mm -hmm, that, that is what is going on at least from my understanding from this hand so in order for you to have better friendships with anyone you're going to have to be kinder to the way you treat yourself and you know you have the car on oh my that says from Jungle Beauty Guys Kalahari that says it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself do you see what I'm saying like you have to feel like oh, I'm, not, I'm not trading I'm not going to pay your way I'm not going to let you take advantage of me I'm not going to give from myself and exhaust my resources and my time like you're the person who you do the most listening you do the most giving and when you need something they're probably not there because they came into this lifetime to teach you that they're going to treat you the way you treat yourself yes they're treating you they're teaching you a lesson about self-worth self-respect and self-love that's why they came into your life this is why you chose your friends and you may think that they won't like you when you stand up for yourself and when you tell them no but it's actually it's not going to be like that they're going to actually respect you and like you even more because they know that um, it's coming they you're enough you're their friend and they don't want to when someone really love you they don't want to exhaust you or exhaust your resources they don't want you to give when you're exhausted and if they, i mean or when you're tired same thing um if they do that means they're really not your friends so you also have a card that says sometimes love means letting go so basically let me tell you something first of all you're gonna have to let go of the negative self-talk in terms of thinking that you are not enough and if you take one thing from this video I want you to say to yourself I am enough yeah I don't I don't need to buy friendship I don't need to make people like me I don't need to pay for this I am enough and if you pay your own way and I'll pay my own way and you know um, you have to even if it's even if it's just in a relationship where you're doing the listening or you're always there for them you're always the one that listen child these cars are saying it is time for you to let go of being a martyr it is time for you to really look at not don't blame them now by the way it's not their fault that you're this way but it's because you have for some reason you just you've just never felt that you were worthy unless you were doing somebody a favor or paying for something you just didn't feel like you were 
in and of yourself that you are a worthy being. And the cards are saying you are worthy because your wealth is weaved in your earth suit. You, it is your birthright. You came to this planet um, with the right to be treated with dignity and respect. You don't have to pay for that from your friends or, or pay for it. It is an innate birthright. Um, and sometimes love means letting go. There, it, it, To me, it has multiple meanings. It's letting go of your own insecurities, your own lack of belief in yourself or feeling that you're enough, this this tape, this plan in your head, I gotta get the bill, I gotta, you know, I have to be for be here for my friends, um, I have to do everything and at the same time feeling resentful, you have to let that go. You gotta let that go because you gotta love yourself. But also for those of you who are watching this and this is resonating and Opportunities are coming in your life where you're seeing that the friendship seems pretty lopsided, where you're the like doing more of the giving and they're asking you for things, but it's not like a mutual relationship, which is really not healthy. Um, some of your friends aren't going to be able to see you in this new light when you tell them, "Look, I'm I'm not paying for your food anymore. I'm not gonna." I'm not going to put myself through, you know what I'm saying? They aren't going to, they aren't going to like it. And they're going to leave the friendship. Yep. And it's going to be because they have fulfilled their contract in your life. And, um, but if they're your real friend, they're going to love the fact that you're standing up for yourself. And they're going to actually offer to treat you or offer to do things for you or offer to be there for you and you're going to have to accept and that may be hard for you because you are naturally a giver so before we move to your lapis lazuli star alien being i do want to re reiterate this fact this factor is not a fact y'all you need to really um look into self-care you know, taking care of yourself, taking care of your heart, taking care of your emotions, setting boundaries, saying no when it's, you know, just saying no. Um, you don't have to pay for friendship. You don't have to pay for love. You need to have heart to heart communication with your friends. Like, the, you know, like this is not a case where you might want to just say, oh, I'm just going to just not, they're not my friends. No, just, because the healing is going to come from the conversations and you're gonna to have to be patient, darling. You're gonna to have to be like, don't feel like, oh, um, things have to turn or I'm just not, these are not gonna be my friends anymore. Just remember this, this one thing, you're not desperate. You're not desperate for friendship. You're not desperate because the reason you have been giving, giving, giving and giving and you're not receiving is because, you know, you're, part of it is your fault. You know, like the cards are saying, you're your own worst enemy. And remember that your friends are going to treat you the way you treat yourself. You set boundaries. It is your place to set boundaries. It is your place to have high expectations for your friends. And, you know, and say, this is how I want to be treated. Treat people, you know, and some people, sometimes we have a hard time receiving because we just don't, you know, we feel weird about it. But it's something you're going to have to work on. It's not just your friends. Your friends are not your enemies. They're not here to hurt you. But you're really going to have to work on letting them in, letting them help you, letting them pay their way, pay your way. Let them, you know, um, be there for you. And just remember, you don't, you don't owe them anything. You don't, you know, it doesn't work like that. We're all whole and complete beings. So now we're going to take a look at the message from your star alien being. All relationships are mirrors that reflect back to us how we view, think, and feel about ourselves without exception. If you told your friends the truth, they would tell you, th you the truth. I know people like to say, no, this person is a liar and they don't tell me the truth always but if you really were honest with yourself and you think about your behavior and the little white lies that you tell you will see that it is a mutual relationship you don't select your friends no more than you select your family members 
you have soul contracts let me get your focus here you have soul contracts where you have agreed to work on certain issues during this incarnation how many times have you said that you weren't going to be friends with someone this is so true How many times have you said that you weren't going to be friends with a person, but for some reason you could never sever the relationship? Or what about friendships you have tried to save to no avail, but no matter how hard you tried, the friendship failed? Most people have one or two friends per incarnation if they are lucky. Friendship requires one to be spiritually and emotionally naked with another human I really like that one must be willing to willing and able to acknowledge their flaws weaknesses and shadow self and still have the patience and capacity to love and respect yourself unconditionally and another person unconditionally no one can love you more than you love yourself because you cannot recognize or receive love outside of the frequency and vibration from which you resonate this is why we are only comfortable with people who meet our expectations if we think a person is too good for us too rich for us too successful for us we find ways to sabotage those relationships we are only comfortable with relationships and friendships that are at our own level of development your friends are the truest reflection of who you are and where you are in life on so many levels as you grow and evolve so will your friendships I really love that that was awesome I really hope this message helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video Hello darling, if you selected the, this is the cheetah blue, the cheetah blue divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my intuition about your particular hand on why you chose your friends in this lifetime, what lessons they incarnated to help you learn. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is don't take your physical experience for granted. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is love without expectations the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess katara you're pulling in two katars and we're talking root chakra we're talking purpose we're talking money and wealth and status and all that good stuff and her card says your highest and best self is your only competition and the last card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess sahara and jungle beauty goddess sahara uh, represents your um, fifth chakra, your throat chakra, dealing with communication and truth. And it says, in between the words, therein lies the truth. My collective intuition about this hand is that you look at your friends, you see your friends as a gauge in terms of where you should be in life, what you should have in, have in life, what you should accomplish, how much you should make. They are a direct mirror reflection to you in terms of where you should be so you're, you you look at your circle of friends as a way for you to decide if you are successful um, this this hand is indicating that you have a competitive nature if they 
get a new house, you want your new house. And they have they have a new car, you need a new car. If they're making seventy thousand dollars a year, then you want to know you know you're you are um, a winner. You are extremely talented. You have a lot going for you. But what is holding you back is that you look at your friends as a barometer of where you should be. So therefore you are afraid to take creative risk outside of what anyone else has done. So if you think you should be making $70,000 a year, and even though you may hate the job, and it may be something else you want to do, let's say you want to teach, you want to, and the job only pays $40,000, you are not going to do that. Because you, you know, you want to keep your friends are a reflection of where you should be, what you should have, that type of thing, and you're not going to lose status, um, especially given that you are successful, um, financially successful. And you also you look at your friends in terms of their usefulness. So if you have friends that you go to, let's say you go to party with and you, those friends are for that purpose. When that per person decides, well, I'm not going to go partying anymore. You're not that interested. You don't, you hate to admit these things about yourself, but when they can no longer be useful to you, and it doesn't mean like money wise, because you are a person who's going to always have your own, but they have to provide um, a, uh, networking opportunities or they, they they have to offer something even if they're just a girl who you know attracts the guys because she's cute you like you're that you're not the kind of person who is jealous of people you you are the kind of person that statement game recognized game I don't know if you heard that saying before it's kind of like when two people got it going on they, they just like they kind of like high five each other or they compliment each other or they they want to get into this match of who can get there fastest. So you aren't jealous of anyone, but you're very competitive. You're a winner. You want to be surrounded by winners. But you, what's, what could possibly hold you back in life is that your circle of friends and where they are, you may go so much farther in life if you would set your own um, standards like you don't you don't need them to be a standard for where you should be you um, you have this card from jungle beauty goddess um, <clears throat> sorry Sahara which is one of my all-time favorite cards is in between the words therein lies the truth so when we use words and we define something we limit it because once we have defined it then it's no longer it's it no longer has untamed, untapped potential, raw potential, right? So because um, you are really into fitting in, you need to really look in between the words. Like you need to look into that part of you, those dreams, those desires, those goals that is not a part of society or what other people think you should be doing or what or you're looking at everybody else to see if this is the best move you might want to write a grant to start a dance school you know but if no one else is doing that and nobody is making money you're not going to do that so basically you have a lot of untapped potential um you have a you you have a lot to offer and once you stop looking at other people as your competition, as opposed to asking yourself, is this my highest and best self? Am I doing my best? Am I giving my all? Is this all I have to, have to offer in terms of my skill set and what I want to accomplish and what I want to give to this world? Like, you just need to start looking within yourself as opposed to looking at your friends to see, um, you know to make sure that you're fitting in making sure that you're staying in alignment with people your age like you're that person if you have these goals if I turn 30 and I don't have my you know degree if I don't have my house and all my other friends have this and I'm a you know I'm a loser I'm not happy so um, the other thing is your hand is saying love without expectations what this means is if you love doing something you it's okay for you to um, say you know what I'm going to 
try to start an after school coaching program because I love it and I'm not going to make money from it and maybe none of my friends are interested in it and maybe I'm not going to get anything out of it but I'm going to give my love without any um, expectations in terms of outcome or return I'm doing it because I absolutely love it so the cars are asking you to not look at your when you, you have the card that says don't take your physical experience for for granted it means that your physical experience is like your material wealth your body like for you you know look outside of the boundaries of what other people think you should be doing or what they think you should have and just start looking at what would bring you joy what would bring you happiness just for just because just if you know what I'm saying who cares if no one else is interested who cares if it doesn't make money your so your friends right now so let me just make this clear your friends are in your life as mirrors ref, that reflect your goals and dreams in terms of where you should be what you should have at your age what you should accomplish and um, the the cars are asking you to look beyond your circle of friends and to look within yourself and to create goals that have nothing to do with your friends and your true friends are going to always be there but you and to and to look at friendship in a different way so they're asking you to step outside of your comfort zone step outside of you know doing what the world think you should do or what you think people your age should do or looking at your friend you know, you know what I'm saying and just do what you love like just to for you it's asking you to tap into your untamed your untamed raw potential um, you're, you're super gifted you're super intelligent you have a lot going for you but you're blocking yourself in by comparing yourself to other people and feeling like you are successful because you probably have a little bit more than everybody else around you so you feel good but you're actually you could do so much more if you were to remove those boundaries <sighs> that was a lot so now I'm going to give you the reading from your star alien being okay so I'm going to give you the message from your star alien being it's in focus here your circle of friends can be gatekeepers who prevent you from expressing the true you they keep you in line consciously or unconsciously when you are making decisions about the self that you want to project to the world they indirectly or directly whisper to you are you sure you want to wear that say that do that your friends are not your friends because they are truly your friends in terms of loyalty and trust. They are your friends because you have defined them as such. You signed them up for a role that may that you may that they may not be qualified for, interested in or even care about. You may not have even defined what it means to be a friend or have a friend. What is your criteria for being a friend? Where does this person fit into your life? What are your ex what are your expected duties? Is this a person who you do favors for? Do you expect this person to uh, make excuses for you? Like what what do you think a true friendship means? Should you give them money upon request? Or would a real friend do that? Should they have to pay it back? Have you been a good friend? Would you trust? Um, oh goodness! Would you trust you as a friend? Ponder what it means to be a friend and what your expectations are from yourself and others. Ask yourself: Can friends want the same dreams and goals 
will this is this the factor that makes them friends will they still be friends because they want to achieve the same goals or can a person be a real friend wanting different things out of life be honest with yourself this will help you develop authentic healthy relationships with others healthy friendships and reach your full potential without looking around to see if anyone else is there I really enjoyed that. So basically, guys, um, what what I'm picking up from your hand is that not just from the star alien being, but in general, you you're being asked to look outside of the boundaries of the people who are in your inner circle to to do things that you love to do, to be who you really are, and to cultivate relationships with people who may not even like what you're doing or have nothing to do with what you're doing or may not even be able to afford the things that place you know the places you go so they're asking you to to just even look at the role of friendship in your life i really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video